It's been about 10 months since the last time I reviewed Artlist, and a lot has changed in this period of time. So now, in 2022, I think it's finally time to give an updated, comprehensive review of the music service Artlist. Now, most of you are probably here because you're new to the world of copyright-free music licensing, and you've seen ads for Artlist or Epidemic Sound or any of those other platforms, and you're just trying to figure out which one is best for you. It can be really, really confusing. I have a lot of experience in this area from making a bunch of review videos and using multiple services like Artlist and Soundstripe and, and Epidemic Sound, and when new stuff comes out, I'm still juggling all of these in my head and trying to figure out which one has the best value. To answer that question, I can only say one thing, and that is, it's all relative. And keep this in mind going forward with this video. Something that I really enjoy or something that's a good value for me with my income and my usage reasons might not be that good for you. So all of this is relative, and I'm gonna do my best not to be biased or anything like that. I just wanna present all of the facts to you and you can make your own decision going forward. That said, if you do decide to get Artlist, I have a link in the description and it's gonna give you two free months added on to the end of your subscription. That's a great way to get better value out of your subscription and it helps support me because I get a bit of a commission whenever somebody goes through that link. So if you do, I really appreciate it. Now let's look at the quality and quantity of Artlist's music library. As of right now, Artlist has just over 18,000 songs in their catalog. Now they add new songs, I believe every week, it might even be every day, but they're just constantly adding songs, which is nice. These songs range over tons of different genres. I think that you'll basically be able to find anything you want from rock to hip hop to synth. And the good news is you can go onto Artlist and check all of this out for free and see if they do have good music that you want before even investing in a subscription. So that's nice. As for the quality of the music, I'm gonna go back to what I said before, which is it's all relative. Now, I will say, Artlist has different sounding music than something like Epidemic Sound. In my opinion, Artlist has sort of a more professional, commercial sort of sound to it, where Epidemic Sound is something a little bit more associated with YouTube. Not that Artlist doesn't work for YouTube, I use it for YouTube, but it's just a, I can't even put my finger on it. There's just something about it that is a little bit more produced, I think, when it comes to Artlist versus Epidemic Sound or some of those other services. In the end, it comes down to your personal preference. If you like the sound of certain songs on Artlist and you can all check this out for free, then go for Artlist. If you prefer Epidemic Sound's a little bit more youtube -y sound, go for Epidemic Sound. But it's all gonna be up to you when it comes to the quality of the music. Still, you're not gonna find anything that's like really boring, really repetitive, or really bad on any of these, these services nowadays, and they're all gonna be really good quality. So you're not gonna have a bunch of like noise in the background or, or anything like that. You don't have to worry about that. Now one of the biggest reasons people like to go for subscription style music catalogs versus just buying licenses for certain songs is when you do multiple, multiple projects, it is much cheaper and it's just a lot easier. You don't have to think about it. It all comes down to their licensing system. And in my opinion, after looking at tons of different services, Artlist has far and away the best licensing system. We'll get into the pricing and those systems later, but what's important when it comes to the licensing is whenever you have that subscription, you can download and keep as many songs as you want from Artlist. And those songs can be used forever. That means if you really like one song and you're using it in the beginning of the intro of all of your videos and your subscription to Artlist runs out, you can still keep using that song because you've downloaded it with a valid subscription to Artlist. I don't think, or at least as far as I'm aware, there is no similar quality service that has this flexible of a license where you can just have music and download it and just use it forever. It's wild. Uh, in comparison, Epidemic Sound, if you download songs, you have to have the Epidemic Sound subscription to keep monetizing YouTube videos or to keep making commercials with their music while you're using it. You can't just download it and then let your subscription slide or end and then just keep using it the way you can with Artlist. So you get a little bit more value in the long run with Artlist if you're just gonna have one year and, you know, download a bunch of songs, but 
I, I think I'll get into why you probably won't want to do that when I talk about the interface system, the stuff that makes it easy to use and fun to use. New since I think late 2021, Artlist has had two different subscription types. They've got their personal subscription and they've got their unlimited subscription. The personal subscription is the cheaper of the two. It's $9.99 if it's billed annually or it's $14.99 if it's billed monthly. This plan is perfect for more social media people. So if you're just a YouTuber or you're Instagram, TikTok, that sort of stuff, and that's the sort of thing you do and you don't do any sort of client projects, then this is something that would be good for you. Basically, you can use the personal subscription on one channel or account per platform. You can monetize all the projects you want on that one channel, but you can't expand into multiple channels unless you got multiple personal subscriptions. At that point, you just want to go for the unlimited. Unlimited is geared more towards professional projects, freelancers, or people who are managing multiple YouTube or social media accounts. It's more expensive and more limited at $16.60 per month, and you can only buy that annually. So there is no monthly, I'll pay as I go every month. You have to pay $199 at the beginning of your service and you've just got it for that year. You can't go month to month paying $16.60 per month. So that's a little bit more limiting, but what's not limiting about it is the licensing system. If you get the unlimited plan, you can use it on as many social media accounts as you want. That's 20 YouTube channels if you wanna do it that way. You can also use it for paid work, client work, broadcasts, uh, podcasts, commercials and websites, all sorts of these platforms. You can basically use it anywhere except for maybe, maybe theater, as in cinema. If you wanted to do something like use it in a short film that was gonna be shown at like Sundance or some other sort of cinema production, that's when you would have to go up to the Enterprise, which is, you have to email them and it's, it's a whole big shindig. I've never done that before, but chances are if you're watching this video, you're not gonna be doing that anyway. So we're not even gonna to touch on Enterprise today. Now that we've talked about the pricing and how the licensing system works, we can talk about the actual interface of Artlist, which is one of my favorite things in comparison to stuff like Epidemic Sound or Soundstripe. Artlist's user interface is really easy to get the hang of, it's really simple, and they've got a bunch of different filter systems when you're browsing for music trying to find the right thing for your video. If you're looking for reggae, you can find reggae. If you're looking for something with piano, you can search for something with piano. They also have a new BPM filter that just came out recently, which allows you to find the temp of a certain song that you're looking for. They've also got duration filters and you can filter out anything that includes voices, like if you don't want singing in the song. That said, a lot of songs that have singing in them have alternate versions that Artlist has posted on there that are just the instrumental versions. That's all cool stuff, but those sort of filters are pretty run of the mill when it comes to these sort of services. It's nothing new. One thing that Artlist does that is quite unique in my experience is they have these sort of uh, featured sections. So whether you're looking for music that your favorite YouTubers post, I think they've got one for Mango Street and for a couple of a couple of other YouTubers, I, I can't remember. Or maybe you're looking for something that's inspired by Dune or Batman or Spider-Man. A lot of the time when new blockbuster movies come out, Artlist will put together collections of songs that are inspired by or sound a lot like the music in those videos or rather those, those movies. Now you're not gonna get anything that's actually scored from the movie, but you do have some third party artists that make music that sounds similar to it. Like this is a song that's designed to sound like the 1989 Michael Keaton Batman. And this song right here is designed to sound like Spider-Man. So I think you get the general idea. These things aren't gonna be perfect, but if you're really, like psyched out of your mind for a new movie coming out or you wanna make something that's inspired by those movies, they have those sort of songs already put together in a collection and I just think that's really cool. Also, if there's a certain song that you like in Artlist and you don't wanna use the same song over and over again but you wanna find something that sounds like it, now Artlist has an option that you can go and click a button on that song and find similar songs and they'll suggest stuff some of the stuff from the same artist, some of them from other artists, but all of these songs that will be suggested sound similar to the one that you liked to begin with. All of these features kind of blend together into a really nice experience for the user when you're looking for music because we all know when we're in the midst of an edit and we're trying to put the music in, time is of the essence. Because if you have to spend 
you know, half hour to an hour looking for a song that you like, it tends to take, well, at least it tends to take me out of that. And then I lose my groove and everything just takes a while and it's no fun at all. So the quicker and faster that I can get my music into my edit, the better. Which leads me to another change, which I think happened since the last video I made, which is Artlist has a really fast, simple, one-click download system now, which is really good because back in the day you had to go and click button like four different buttons to download it. Now you just hit download and it'll go whoop and it'll be on your computer just, just like that. Now let's talk about some of the downsides of Artlist because it can't all be sunshine and roses, right? Life does not work that way. One of the things that I really dislike about Artlist is they don't have a free trial. Now, I understand that this makes sense for them, right? Mainly because of their licensing system. Where other services like Epidemic Sound can offer a 30 day or a seven day free trial and you can use that music in videos and post videos and truly get a feel for the experience, Artlist can't do this because of their licensing system. If you download, I, I think it's the daily limit is 20 songs. Even if you had a one day free trial, you could download 20 free songs and use them forever. So Artlist isn't gonna let you have a fully usable free trial because then there would be no reason for you to pay for the service to begin with. And this is also the reason why they don't let you pay monthly because then you could just pay for one month and download like 100 songs and they really would not have a sustainable business model. And yeah, I, I agree with that. It wouldn't work out. So I understand why they do this, but it's just kind of a bummer for us. It's unfortunate that people exploiting things can ruin it for everybody else. But again, that's just kind of how life works. Another thing that Artlist doesn't really do well is, well, I was gonna say that it's there's not much flexibility when it comes to the subscriptions, but now you've got the personal subscription, which is cheaper. And I was also going to say the whole like multiple click download thing, but that doesn't exist anymore. So I can't, I can't really, th <laughs> I can't really think of anything. Uh, one thing is they don't have as many songs as Epidemic Sound. So if you're really going for quality and you'd rather have 30,000 songs than 18,000 songs, uh, Epidemic Sound's better when it comes to that. But these things are, are so good. And I really try not to just sing the praises of something I'm reviewing and I get a commission from, because it looks weird. It looks like I'm just trying to sell it, but I swear I'm not, and this is truly the straight up facts. If you have criticisms of Artlist, leave them in the comment section below. If you put together something really nice, I'm gonna pin it so that people can see it. Um, but I can't come up with anything. I can't, aside from the, the no free trial thing. And that, my friends, is going to do it for my review of Artlist here in 2022. It's wild to me that it's already 2022. I'm looking back at all those old videos and I can't believe that it was 10 months ago that I last talked about this, but here we are. And I just wanna end the video with a little message. If you're getting started in filmmaking or YouTube here in 2022, some people are like, it's way too late or you missed a train. It's not, just do your best, love what you do. And if you put a lot of effort into it and you just keep going, things will work out. In the end, it's about putting the work in. And I know that you're gonna put the work in because you're an awesome human being. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. See you later.